So anyways, as I was saying compared to before, that you got a lot of these so-called Christian people, like you got people not questioning things in their life and then they're not going over to God and they're not asking God, all right, God, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to live? What do you want me to say? What do you not want me to say? God, what do you want me to think? What do you not want me to think? Because guys, I'm going to tell you something, okay? The minute we give, our, give ourselves over to God, right? We're no longer our own. Just like when you give yourself to Satan, your body's no longer your own. You got to do, you got to fornicate, you got to do all this other stuff. You got to listen to worldly music, watch worldly movies, and treat your body like not the temple of God, you know? Because Satan and the demons are your masters. So you obey them. And that's how it is when people are in the world. They give all their lives and their bodies and their souls and their spirits to, to the demons out there. And it's the same thing. When you give yourself to God, you know, and it's, plus when it comes to obeying Satan, you know, you got to obey and do everything he tells you to do. Live a sinful life, lie to people, whatever the case may be. And I hate to say it, man. You got a lot of Christians so-called in America so-called, you know, in America, that say they love God, but if you ever notice, they're not living a life that is in obedience to God. You know, that like it's kind of like nowadays when they say being obedient to God, they probably just think about reading the Bible every once in a while, going to church and stuff like that. But guys, you could do all that. You could be in church and not and not live a godly lifestyle, you know? You could live one way at church and another at home. And there's a lot of hypocrites, you know, in the church. A lot of guys, not everybody that goes to church is living holy. Not everybody that goes to church is a real saint of God. Not everybody that goes to church, okay, and knows the Bible and knows how to preach real good. And I'm not, I'm not matter of fact, I don't even want to call it preaching. I'll say real pastors that teach. We don't got real shepherds in our pulpits that teach anymore and discipline anymore. And on top of that, the thing is that you guys, but when you give yourself to God, right? When you give yourself to God, and when you give yourself the purity, and you let the Holy Spirit come into you, you're no longer your own. You can't just do what you want to do. You can't just do what you want with your body, and you know, when prostitute yourself, fornicate, have sex outside of marriage, you know, when you give yourself to God, your mouth and your ears and your eyes are no longer your own, you can't just look at what you want, and think about what you want, and listen to whatever you want, and say whatever you want, and guys, I know a lot of the stuff what I'm saying is not popular, but at the same time, I really don't care if it's not popular, because sometimes the very things that I'm talking about, they might not be popular, but they could be good for your soul. And they are what you need to hear at the end of the day. Because just like Satan got rules in his kingdom, God got rules in his kingdom too. Now don't get me wrong. I know God loves us and God is like really patient with us, long-suffering. He's kind, he's gentle, he's gracious. But at the same time, God does have rules and God still and does demand holiness. Now, we don't have to stone each other anymore, thank God. We don't have to sacrifice our animals anymore, you know? But it doesn't mean that we could just still, we could do whatever we want, you know? And even in the Old, even in the New Testament, there's even warning signs in the New Testament, you know? And so back, anyways, back over to what I was saying is that we can't keep living, even us as Christians, and the reason why that I harp on Christians so much it's because, guys, I got nothing against my brothers and sisters in the faith. I'm just saying that, you know, guys, we can go to church all we want. We can say, we can quote Bible scriptures all we want, you guys. But if we're not living holy, if we're not being holy, that's right. I said it. Being holy. God said in his word, be holy for I am holy. And, guys, let's be honest. When was the last time you heard that in church? Especially nowadays. What was the last time we had pastors nowadays, okay, that really are living holy and teaching it to and disciplining the congregation with it, you know? 
And the thing is that, guys, nowadays, I'm just going to be honest, okay? I hate to say it, bro, but this is going to hurt. The modern, modern Christianity, okay? The modern, the so-called modern Christian church, the majority of the time, are spiritual harlots, spiritual whores. Because we say we love God in church, but in our homes, we know we have some sins, even little sins, that we don't want to give up. We know it. That's no different than you cheating on your husband or wife. Talk about, oh, I'm trying to stop, but yeah, you're still trying to see so-and-so because you're trying to get some sex because your wife ain't giving you none, your husband ain't giving you none. But when you're married, you really don't have an excuse. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Okay? You can't say you love God and then live an unholy life in your house. Especially if you have children. You know, guys? And what I really even wanted to say in the part two of this video of hearing the see into the spirit realm. Because you can't, you can't say you love God, you guys. And then live any kind of way and not expect demons to come. Okay? And, and I understand that it's very clear that we can see demons out there in the world. That's because it's easy to point it out in the world. But the thing is that in the church, it's a whole different story. Because when somebody goes into the church and they came out of the world and they're trying to get their lives right, they're trying to get set free. And because a lot of Christians nowadays are selfish, okay, because God tells us to sacrifice, to self-sacrifice, okay, and because we don't want to do it. What we're really saying is, oh God, I'm not going to do the job you call me to do. I'm not going to live the way you want me to live because I care about myself and I want to make sure I got my stuff, okay? But all oh, people in the world, they're doing this, they're doing that. Oh, you know, they got demons in them. Really? Because it's kind of funny how we want to talk about, oh, my children got to gotta obey me or else. Yeah, well, guess what, sir? Guess what, ma'am? But the minute you disobey God, you don't want God punishing you? Huh? You know what they're saying right there? We'd rather have people fear man more than fear God. But God said, don't fear man. Gotta see this. You know? We can't live any kind of way, you guys, and expect God to bless us. It don't work like that. You know? You can't live any kind of way and then not expect demons to come in your life. Because it calls them and demons. And if you're living a sinful lifestyle, why you profess to be a Christian, okay, demons are going to come whether you like it or not. And it's simple as that. Because you have something in your house that belongs to them. It's either you're going to live holy all the way for God or not. Or you're going to be all the way in the side of the world. And there's not only a demon of lust, and there's not only a demon of perversion, there's not only demons of, you know, the, the, the other sins out there, you know. And because, you know, because when we disobey God, you know, we disobey Him because we're, we're still acting in the flesh. And the reason that God wants us to deny ourselves, so, it's so we could be an example, okay, to people that are in darkness so we could bring them to the light. It's like you're working for God. And if you're trying to represent Him well, okay, you know, you guys, we can't bring people to Christ if we're not representing God well, you know. We can't bring people to Christ, okay, if we're just doing what we want to do, okay, acting a fool. It don't work like that, you know? I'll right back.